All right, guys, welcome back. Hey, this episode here is one of the most adventurous ones we've done in a long time, maybe ever. And it's where we go down to South America to the Amazon River and we go peacock bass fishing. That's right, we brought Hillary along. We had Billy, he's got a bass with us. Uh, we had some other buddies, Andrew Upshaw. It was, it was an action-packed week to say the least and a lot of fun. You know, we cut our ways through the jungle. I mean, it's just a action-packed episode right here. Cannot wait to do it again. And uh, that was a lot of fun. These are the episodes that aired on ESPN2 as well as Discovery Channel. So we're gonna air them now on YouTube so you guys can watch them. But before we get into that, I always like to say a huge thank you to my sponsors. And this particular sponsor here is a, is a unbelievable one, by the way, and a great service. Lunker text, okay? You see me wearing the shirt all the time. You see Matt Airy wearing Lunker text shirt all the time. And a lot of people are asking me, what is Lunker text? Well, Lunker text is the easiest way to buy high quality fishing tackle at a fraction of the cost. And what do I mean by that? Guys, Lunker text gathers up bulk items out there and builds bundles. And these bundles are full of some of the top fishing lures in the country. And they sell them to you at a super discount. And all they do, once you sign up, it's free and it's easy. You fill out the information, put your phone number in there. They're gonna send you a text every few days on these bundles that they have. And you can just simply reply in the text message, I want one bundle, two bundles, or no bundles. And if you ask for a bundle, they'll show up at your doorstep in just a few days. It's as simple as that. Lunker Text is a great and easy way to buy tackle at a ridiculously low prices. So check out Lunker Text, guys. Sign up for it. It uh, doesn't cost a penny, and you will not believe the deals you get. So it's an awesome deal right there. Lunker Text, good job on that. So let's jump into the Amazon, see what we can get into on this one. That's cool. Yeah. So, so this is the name of his outfit. So John owns this outfit, and this is what we're going on today. We're going on this big adventure in the Amazon. He has this big boat lined up. That is right there. That's what we're doing. Got a lot of life vests just in case, Billy. Right, it's our home for the next week. We're, uh, I don't know what to expect. Finally here, this is a trip we've had planned now for about six months. You know, you, you just don't really know what to expect. You know, you, you, you make the long journey down to the Amazon and drive through Manaus and meet everybody. You know, half these guys have met for the first time. So, you know, I'm excited about it. The boat's, the boat's nice, it's a big boat. You know, we're gonna, we're, I think we're gonna travel about, I think 15 hours or so up the Amazon, maybe even farther. And then we'll, we'll kind of base camp from that general area farther up. And what we're gonna be doing this week, we're gonna be fishing some areas of the river that he's got some permission to fish that I guess some of the Indians and stuff own. So I'm not real sure how that works, but maybe some areas that aren't necessarily as, as hit as hard as some of the other places. And then the big thing that we're gonna try to catch this week, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. So I don't wanna talk about it too much, but if it does, it'd be awesome. It's, catch an arapaima. Big giant arapaima would be awesome. So I'm excited for a couple reasons. One, to shoot some great content for you guys. Number two, just to let everybody enjoy, hang out with Billy, hang out with Andrew, of course, Jacob and, and Hillary, and just everybody, you know, having a good time. I can't wait to hear the stories after the first day of hardcore fishing. So Amazon series, it's gonna be pretty real. We're getting ready. These are the boats we're gonna be fishing off of. Perfect little boats for running around. Mario, Scott, very nice to meet you.
little practice session right here. We might not even catch one, we had to pick the guides up. So I don't think there's a huge population of peacocks in this area, but it is good to get out here today and just get the rhythm of things and see kind of how it looks and all that. Oh, watch this feeling. Cool. Got him, dude. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that one, dude. Look at that one. You can't get that one in Miami. That is crazy good. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> Look at that, huh? <laughs> Woo, that's awesome, dude. 595. 595. Yeah. Dude, Billy, that was cool, huh? So I'm coming. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we are literally as far as you can get into this little creek here. Uh, there's a lake on the other side. We just don't know much about it. So we talked to these locals last night on the boat. Actually, the captain went into this little village and talked to this local, and he's like, yeah, there's this, this lake on the other side. And they gave us permission, because they own all this land, I guess, gave us permission to fish into this lake. And uh, huge log in front of us here. I'm not sure if we can even get through this thing, but it looks like we might be able to make it. I have no idea what's on the other side. Or if he's in there, it might even be another log. It's got in the water. Seriously, guys, I had no idea. You know, the lack of communication, language barrier, obviously. They said private lake, private lake, no one's fish, no one's fish, private lake. We're like, that's great. We've been doing this for two hours. Like, literally, it's this deep log, over logs. I mean, you've seen it, it's just crazy. Watch out, the tree's coming. They don't need to classify this as private. Just say, good luck. So guys, real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to Yamaha. That's Yamaha. It's mucho bon. Mucho bon. If you're planning on going jungle fishing, or you live in a, what was that? That was like a, that was a spider monkey, bro. If you plan on, if you live in a place where there's like swamp, like Louisiana, just get a 15 because it's, dude, it, it's a workhorse. It just goes through everything. All right, so we're finally here, dude. I didn't think we were gonna make it. No, that was bad. That was uh, definitely crazy, man. So there's could be Arapaima here. There could be arowana. There could be uh, piranha, of course, peacock. I, I keep just there's all kind of fish busting the surface and rolling everywhere, dude. This is crazy. 
I got something big, bro. What is it? I don't know. Oh, big peacock. Big peacock. Big peacock. <sighs> Dude. It's gonna jump right here. Wow. Wow. That is worth the little boat ride through the jungle, baby. Welcome to the jungle. Holy cow, look at the big one. Grande. <clears throat> there we go, boys. Look at that one. Woo! Nope. 10. 10. 10 pounds. 10 pounder. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Look at the beautiful. Beautiful fish. And look, that thing hit like a 20 pounder. Oh yeah. I mean like scared me to death right there. That is worth fish. it, dude. Now your turn, bro. Yeah, your okay. turn, bro. My turn. 10 pounds. And they get 15 and 20. That's what's crazy. That's is what that is what's crazy. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh, you got one of them things. Dude, look at that. Oh, wow. That is so cool, dude. It's a clown, like a clownfish looking thing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the mouth on that thing, dude. Look how it, it tilts up so when they can come up and eat on the surface. That's crazy. That's beautiful. Mute boon. There he goes. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! I don't know what it is. It's freaking giant. He's big, dude. I don't know what this is. Whoa! Is that an arapaima? Yeah. That's an arapaima. Yeah. Paracu. Arapaima. I got one, dude. crap out of it too man wow look at that bro look at that look at that bro we did it man oh my gosh whoa 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 okay i don't think the net no net <laughs> grab the gripper the gripper Wow, dude, bro, look at that thing. Guys, he ate it down his throat like it's down. He hit it so hard. He hit it so hard. Look at this fish. Wow, that right there is what you come to Amazon for. Peacock bass, big arapaima. Wow, wow, that is crazy, bro. Look at that thing. Oh my God! It's a mucho grande arapaima. What? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. Here we go. Guys, that's a big, big fish. All right, bro. Hey, golly, that's awesome. Find the bubbles and throw to the bubbles. There's three or four big ones right here. I'm so excited about today because Hillary's going to get a chance to experience this. She's in the boat with me today, and we're going to put her on something pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. Is that peacock? Yeah. <laughs> Let him unhook them because they jump like crazy. First Amazon peacock. He's a little different looking. He is. This trip is special in so many ways. Being able to experience it not only with my friends, but my family and the look on Hillary's face when she cast it out and that very first peacock explodes on her bait was priceless. Oh, 
Oh god, right there, right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, Hill. That's a good one, Hill. Oh my gosh, he's over the tree. Oh wow, look at this thing. Look at him, Hill. Whoa, that was so cool. That was so cool. That was cool. Chaos in the jungle. Oh, by the title of this video, how do you say awesome in Portuguese? So, uh, today was quite the adventure. Now that I know how to catch them, I'm gonna keep my eyes out, and maybe try to have another opportunity one of those, because that was sure an awesome bite. Get ready for tomorrow, Hill. What do you think? I'm ready. All right. This is it, the Amazon River. 2,000 miles of water, hundreds of thousands of miles of jungle. This place is full of peacock bass and so many other species of fish. And this journey has, has taken us here farther into the Amazon now. It, it's, it's, we're about day five now into this journey and, and uh, we just keep going deeper and deeper. You know, so far we've, we've, uh, we've checked a few things off the list. We've, we've got the Ara Arapaima which was awesome. We're gonna try to catch another one of those. We've got some really nice peacock and a lot, a lot of numbers, but we haven't found that giant yet, that giant, that 18 to 20 pound fish that it's kind of the benchmark when you come down here to the, to the Amazon to catch. The culture is amazing, the people are amazing. That's what it's about, the Amazon River. Got him. He's still on. No, oh, he's going in, dude. He's going in. Holy crap. Really? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my God, dude, he's really going down. He's really down. Can we do this in tournaments? We need him for tournaments, man. If he comes up with that thing, it's gonna be awesome, bro. I hope he gets it. Dude, the thing's shaking. Look at the bush shaking. Oh, dude! You're the man, bro. You're the man. Look at that. He went in there and got that thing, guys. Unbelievable. I feel bad. I thought it was bigger than that. Oh, wow. Wow. Here we go. Wow. So big guys, oh my gosh. Yeah, gosh. All right, Andrew. I'm just like, I'm shaking right now. I'm so excited. Like that thing is huge. I mean, that's what you come to the Amazon for right there. Like there's no doubt. I mean, it actually has that redfish dot on the tail. Probably one of the coolest features of it. I mean, the whole fish just looks majestic. There's no doubt about it. But, oh, what a great blow up. I love it. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. What? Yes, very good. <laughs> what an amazing trip. Deep in the Amazon, we did it all. Huge thank you to Asu Nevea and their great outfit. From the food, the hospitality, the people, the equipment, just all in all, a fantastic trip. And I encourage all of you that are watching this, if you want to go to the Amazon, to be sure to give them a call for a trip of a lifetime. Cannot wait to do it again, and thank you so much for joining us on this adventure with my family and friends.